Welcome to the Support Videos for Workload Automation video series. In this video, we will go over how to turn on and off debug in the Control of Agent. PMC Support may request you to turn debug on the Control of Agent. Often this happens when there is a problem after job submission to the agent or if you are having a problem with the connection profile. I will go over how to use the Control M Configuration Manager and the CTM AG CFG menu to turn on Agent Debug and to turn off Agent Debug. The usual steps are to turn the Agent Debug on, recreate the problem, then turn off Agent Debug. The logs of the agent are located in the agent's proc log directory. Be sure to turn off agent debug when you are not needing it. Leaving it on can cause problems with excess logs and slow performance. This is a version 9 Control M Configuration Manager. I'm going to show you how to turn debug on and off the Control M agent using the Control M Configuration Manager. Highlight the agent, right click on it and select Agent Debug. We normally request that you set the diagnostic level to 4, to apply, then OK. Debug has been set on the control of agent. At this point, you would recreate the problem. After recreating the problem, you go back and turn debug off the control room agent. Follow the same steps. Highlight the agent. Right click on agent debug. Set the diagnostic level back to zero. Click apply. Then OK. Now debug has been turned off the control room agent. I'm now going to show you how to use the CTM AG CFG menu to turn debug on and off the control of agent. You get into the CTM AG CFG menu from the command prompt on the agent. This is a Windows machine. On a non-Windows machine, you must be logged on as the agent. So we will enter CTM. AG, CFG, you'll see the menu appear. We're going to set the diagnostic level, which is option 5, the same way did, we did with the Control M Configuration Manager, to a value of 4. You enter S to save the update. Q to quit. Now debug has been turned on the control M agent. At this point, you'd recreate the problem. Once the problem has been recreated, you would enter CTM AG CFG again. You'd select option 5, as you did before. This time we're going to set the value to 0. We're going to save the update. And we're going to quit. At this point, the Control M agent's debug has been turned off. Thank you for your time. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.